What's up insiders, Connor here, not with the news flash this time, but with something that we know will be of huge importance to everybody in the YouTube Partner Program. And what is that? It's the Advertiser Friendly Content Guidelines. So why we're bringing it up today is the page itself has been updated. There have been no policy changes. However, there are a ton more examples added. And the lens through which we're delivering these examples is through self-certification. So whereas previously you would have seen tables with broader examples under a title limited or no ads, if you go to any one of the guidelines that relates directly to the questionnaire itself, you're going to see a guide to self-certification option. If you click on that option, you're going to allow it to expand. And what you'll see beneath that guide to self-certification is as much detail as we can publish around what falls in each of those three categories. So the first category is what you can run ads on. The second is what you can run ads on, but some advertisers may opt out. And the third is stuff that we just don't want to monetize at all. So why we're bringing this to the Creator Insider community is because we want eyes on this article. We want eyes on this article for two reasons. The first is to give you the very best chance at maintaining a high accuracy score in self-certification. And the second is to ask for more feedback. When it comes to inappropriate language, we are challenged by the sheer volume and changing nature of profanity, both on the platform and in the real world offline. So if there's something that you feel is unclear in any of these sections, make sure you call it out to us in the comments below. Make sure you send feedback through the send feedback link, whichever works better for you. But there are three things that I'm gonna call out to you now. The first is that you're gonna see definitions. Now we've worked really hard to make these definitions as clear and concise as possible. But if I'm looking at the article now, as I hope you are, I'm going to see stuff like censored profanity. And we say here that it refers to things like bleeping or muting the word, as well as covering written words with black bars, symbols, or text added in post-production. That's hopefully really useful information for when you're filling out the questionnaire in your account. Now, the second thing I'm going to po point out is some helpful tips in these examples. So, Thumbnails containing strong profanity is actually something that you can run ads on, but only for brands who opt in to run those ads on your content. These are small things that may not have been clear before, but we hope with all of the detail that we put into this page will be a lot clearer now. And the third point I'll point out is a lot broader. When it comes to these questionnaire options, we're really trying to condense a big, book of policies into one page. So when you're selecting those options, we're picking out the things that are most common in any given category. But the questionnaire language itself is obviously not going to be comprehensive. Think about the platform. We can't possibly put in every permutation of content out there. So that's why our feedback loop when it comes to this article through the comments below through the send feedback link is really really important so if you have ideas about something that may be missing here something that we could improve on please let us know we're going to be updating this article on a constant basis on the basis of the feedback that you provide now we're going to be coming back every week and taking apart each one of these guideline sections. So that's it for this segment of the Advertiser Friendly Guidelines series. Make sure you provide that feedback to us. Thanks for checking in. And as always, from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators, it's been a pleasure presenting you with information today.